son of a bitch. Oh, something's running. There was something fucking running. I can move big ass boulders, but I can't move that little bit. Oh my god. Nothing up there. What about you? You got anything in you? Well, fine. No, what's... <laughs> Are you done? over. The spoopy part's over. The sc scooby-doo part's over. Please. I'm gonna grab that fire and it's gonna go out. Hi! Unavailable. There is one rod in the inner study rooms, which might work in the case of two. Unless the absolutely necessary, always use the spare rods in the storage before using a mended one. Oh, hey! I just don't trust picking up these rods. These rods. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, 
I should have grabbed the damn fire first, shouldn't I have? No, I might need you. Ow! Of course! Duh! Duh! Fucking... I burn myself. <laughs> Change your own machine part made out of wood and metal. My machine part made out of wood and metal. Um. Does that like help my sanity or something? That's right, that's right, the elevator. For some reason I feel like I'm playing this game too cautiously a lot of the times. things. I'm hiding in the light. Okay, that it's a legit strategy. Just a barrel. <gasps> Quit! Why does everything have to tremble? Much less than dying, I assure you. 
Well, yeah, duh. Duh. Was it in the machine room? There was. Hi. Can I? Uh, oh wait. Do I, I need to get to the mechanism? Don't I? What is that watery noise? Fuck. I gotta go in the machine room, don't I? room wasn't here before okay okay scribbly scribbly I'm pretty sure that means something to do with my journal but I'm not doing the journal everybody but me already knows this story 2nd of July 1839. I received a letter today from the Algerian governor's office disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. About a week after my departure, Abdullah, one of the men traveling with us, returned from the desert. He was badly injured, as if maimed by a lion. The man rambled deliriously about the expedition being attacked by something horrible. The French quickly dispatched a search party to look for the expedition. After searching for days, they found the camp abandoned without any trace of Herbert or his men. Tomorrow, I'll retrieve the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the customs house. I don't know what to make of it, but I'm worried for him. Wait, what is this? <gasps> Crowbar! No, no, why did I pick that up so quickly? Really? Jello. Ah, uh, they don't close all the way. Third of July, 1839. Today I picked up Herbert's things at the customs house. I dug through the trove of documents he had carried and found a log detailing the expedition. The nature of this text ranged from quick notes to colorful accounts of transpired events. I skimmed the pages trying to figure out what might have <laughs> happened. May 17th, the day I was trapped he inside quick the notes? Chamber, what did he have Herbert a surface dryly pro? states we covered Daniel after one hour of entrapment. This confused me greatly. I was suffocating within <laughs> minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? I continued reading the peculiar text. Herbert states his facts 
without judgment or passion, but suddenly I could read frustration into his text. He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. Madness spread through the ranks, and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He finally visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. His account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing room? Um, I'm just gonna say that if I was this guy and I wiped my memory, I wouldn't read, I wouldn't trust the notes that I left myself from before I forgot my name. What is that noise? I've tried that door a million fucking times. Cuckoo clock. Oh, wow, that one, uh... That's yeah, all one. Jello's a genius, Jello's a genius. She gets kisses all over her face. Come on, you piece of shit. Ah, oh, fuck me. No! The key. Please, let it be here. Oh my god. Can the bright white light stop, please? I don't get I I get the crowbar back. Come on, I almost had you. Oh, it broke in half. <sighs> Fat lot of good you do, bitch. Ow, oh, don't hit me. Oh, no, no. No! <laughs> This was gonna happen. Oh, he's right. Guess no more locked doors, huh? 4th of July, 1839. It's done. The orb is assembled. I was awakened by an exhausting nightmare. Shaking and sweating, I retired to the drawing room with a cup of tea. The relic pieces lay spread across the table as I'd left them. But somehow, I knew how it was supposed to be. I fetched the tar, which I had prepared to fix the pieces together, and without fault I joined them, producing the orb I remembered so clearly. The tar proved unnecessary. It was pushed out from the joining pieces as they merged on their own, with no adhesive. The ancient stone relic now rests on my table. Its immaculate surface and perfect shape could have been molded by a factory. This is all too strange. 
Okay, so you got the death orb. It won't let me grab the dresser drawer with, if I click on the shirt. You gonna come out, buddy? Yeah, that's what I thought. Come on! Bitch. I don't know why I did that. So I can grab everything else but these damn shirts. So confused right now. Um, Stupid, all right. Yeah, that's right, machine room. Well, everyone, that's it for this episode. I'll see you next time. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Go get my editor some love. She's in the description below. I'm kidding. I'm gonna go down here. I don't want to. My God. They didn't know much about implementation back in the day, did they? Damn well, I'm not gonna get... I, there's no way I'm gonna get around to this puzzle in this recording. Today, I went to the Don't. university looking for answers. 
I was able to sneak into Herbert's office and pick up an address book along with some relevant textbooks. Professor Taylor at the Faculty of History was very helpful and I managed to approach the subject of the orbs. The most interesting aspect was the prevalent trace they had left in our culture. The mythic orbs may in fact have inspired the Globus Cruciger, which so many royal regalia holds to this day. In ancient times, the orbs were held by priests as a symbol of the sun and its power. As I was leaving, I overheard a disturbing conversation. Sir William Smith, the geologist, was killed last night. Less than a fortnight had passed since I'd asked for his expertise. I know it's silly, but I can't help feeling responsible. Sensitivity is so slow. No, okay, that's a pipe. It looked like a shadow. Oh, I'm definitely gonna have to run from something. Shit. keeps them away. Oh, circle, triangle, square. You can stop that. My eyes are trying to look at things in the background. Know that there are only two spare rods. Oh, okay. All right. Whoever didn't get to read that, pause it. Oh. I have no choice but to have read it, right? Uh, how do I get to my notes? Wait, which one? And it's not to self. No, I need something way... Uh, make sure that you only discard the ones are badly damaged and keep the others in the inner sleeve in case all three would crack again. So I do have to go get to the back to the study in order to find the other rod because I only have two of them. Should I put two of them in now? Is that gonna mess things up? Hey, 
Hey, yo, I got those colors wrong. X is blue. Oh. What? Stop it? Hey. There's another floor, right? There's another floor down. Whoa. My headphones are starting to pop. Why are my headphones popping? Yo, why is it so well lit? It wants me to see something. darkness. This is where the fucked up things come in, right? Oh yeah, see, what is this room over here? down too far, the sound only comes through my left ear. Oh, hi! I should probably go read that note first. <laughs> 14th of July, 1839. I've read every book I can find on the subject. While rich in legend and hearsay, my knowledge is lack for the insight I crave. I've sent letters to many in Herbert's address book and received answers of varying importance. Today, I got one which differed greatly from the others. From a baron in Prussia. He said nothing about the quaint stories of priests in underground temples. He didn't even mention them. He simply wrote, I know. I can protect you. Come to Brennenburg Castle. Signed, Alexander, what am I to make of this? Protect me from what? Is someone after me? I looked up Brennenburg and traced it to the Prussian woods near the Baltic Sea. While being the least informative letter I've received, it causes me greatest distress and interest. As I write, my thoughts are drawn to my nightmares in which a most disturbing sound calls to me. A sound defying description. A voice from the void. The last few weeks have been awful, with wow. so many he sleepless nights dreading a repeat of those horrid end. dreams. Tomorrow, I shall visit my physician, Dr. It's Tate, and hope that he can provide Fuck. me with sedatives to help me sleep.
around you, bitch. Wait, this isn't a cogwheel. All right, y'all. I'm gonna end the episode here. Go get my Jello editor. I mean, editor Jello. The Jello editor. Some love. She can't play OSU right now. But I'll see you next time I play the game. Okay, I'm corny. All my songs are super boring. I'm like Macklemore on crack.